Hello everybody. If you saw the Falcon 9 launch on July 11th of 2024, you might have seen some unusual things going on with the upper stage. And after the launch livestream ended, SpaceX reported an anomaly with the upper stage when they attempted to relight for its orbit raising burn. So what happened here? What's going to happen to those Starlink satellites on board? And what kind of future impacts are we looking at for later Falcon 9 missions? Let's start by taking a look at the anomaly. So during Falcon 9 upper stage burn, we can see that there's ice building up on the insulation surrounding the Merlin engine's plumbing. We can also observe that the insulation itself seems to be puffing out and expanding. This suggests that there's some sort of leak which is freezing on exposure to the vacuum of space while some gas is being trapped inside the insulation. Now, according to a brief incident report that SpaceX has published, this was a liquid oxygen leak, and we can assume that this was coming from the engine's plumbing, seeing as it seemed to be it coming from the insulation side of the engine. So, the Merlin engine continued to fire until its expected engine cutoff time, and it seemed to be in a good orbit at that point. However, in the not broadcasted relight for orbit raising, it experienced some sort of anomaly, which resulted in a earlier than planned shutdown. Based on the fact that there was a oxygen leak into the engine plumbing, there's a pretty good shot that something in there caught on fire as a 100% oxygen atmosphere is the perfect fuel for any sort of fire. Basically, anything will burn in pure oxygen, so if there's any sort of leak of anything, which could include some kerosene, which is used as a hydraulic fluid for the Merlin engine's thrust vectoring, as well as, of course, being the propellant for the engine itself, if any of that were to leak, it could easily ignite in this oxygenated atmosphere and result in some serious engine damage that would prevent it from firing nominally. As for the Starlink satellites, the situation for them doesn't look good, and SpaceX has admitted that themselves. They're currently in an orbit with a 135 kilometer perigee, which is basically nothing, as it dips into the upper atmosphere of Earth and will drag down the satellites quite rapidly. SpaceX has said that they're currently losing about 5 kilometers of altitude with every pass near that perigee. Now, fortunately, the Starlink satellites come equipped with thrusters that are intended for use in raising their orbits. But with a perigee that low, they may not be able to provide enough thrust to resist the atmospheric drag pulling them down. Previously, in February of 2022, a Falcon 9 launched into a solar storm with Starlink satellites. This was in a 210 kilometer orbit, and regardless, the satellites were not able to keep up with atmospheric drag and were pulled down into the atmosphere, although a few did survive. So the reason for this is that during a solar storm, the Earth is bombarded by hot, high-energy solar particles, which heat up the upper atmosphere and cause the gases there to expand and reach out further into space. This increases the density of the atmosphere in the altitudes where the Starlink satellites were deployed and cause them to be dragged back down to Earth. Now, while there was no significant space weather at the time of this last Falcon 9 launch, seeing as the atmospheric density is much higher, 70 kilometers below that previous mission, we can only assume that the thrusters will not be able to get the Starlink satellites out of this situation. Even if they do, only 10 satellites were contacted, the rest did not seem to be in communication with SpaceX control centers. So we can expect the Falcon 9 upper stage and some of the Starlink satellites, if not all of them, to deorbit sometime in the next few hours or days. Now as for the impact of this on future missions, we can expect SpaceX to 
delay their upcoming launches for a detailed investigation of what happened here, as although the Falcon 9 was able to complete its initial orbit insertion burn, the liquid oxygen leak was still occurring at this point, and it could have proven to threaten the mission even at that stage of flight. So this anomaly, depending on what the exact cause of it was, could result in the grounding of the Falcon 9 fleet for weeks or even months, and it will almost certainly result in a delay of the Polaris Dawn mission, which was scheduled to fly on July 31st and conduct the first spacewalk of a full private crew. So now to sum all of this up, Falcon 9 experienced an anomaly on its July 11th flight carrying Starlink satellites. This anomaly resulted in the satellites being deployed to a lower than expected orbit due to the engine being disabled by some failure during a relight. The Starlink satellites are not expected to be able to get out of this low orbit and will instead be dragged back down and they will then break up in Earth's upper atmosphere. The failure will also likely result in the grounding of all Falcon 9 launches for some period of time, potentially ranging up to several months. Hopefully we'll see Falcon 9s flying soon, but that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.